In this episode, we're talking all about Java 9. I am recording this in April of 2017, and as you can see, thanks to our friends at java9countdown.xyz, we are 114 days away. Java 9, if you have not been paying attention, has been delayed a couple times for one thing or another. If you want to find out more about that, you can click on this Read More link. And it's officially supposed to be released in July of 2017. So we'll cross our fingers and hope that that's actually going to happen. But today I just want to take a look at how you can get started with Java 9 before it comes out. So let's going to jump over to jdk9.java.net. This is going to be your home page for everything Java 9. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is download Java 9. So if we click over here on Downloads, you're going to have the appropriate uh, Java 9 downloads for your platform, Windows, Mac, or Linux. And this is, uh, you'll see a lot of Java 9 EA. EA stands for Early Access. So that's what that is. Um, another way that you can download Java now is by using SDK Man. If you follow me on either my blog or here on the YouTube channel, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of SDK Man. So I'm going to go ahead and pop over to a terminal. And let's get this out of the way. And so if we jump into SDK list Java, you can actually use SDK Man to install Java versions now, which is really cool. And you'll see here that I have both 8U121 and Java 9 Early Access 157 installed. So we can go ahead and um, make Java 9 our default, which I'm going to do. So we can say SDK. Um, if you're never sure of what, um, how to switch versions, you can always say help. So if I want to um, use SDK and we're going to set the default for Java to 9EU157, I believe it was. Um, nope, maybe I was wrong. EA, what did I say? Why did I say U? EA157. And now that is the default version. So if we get out of here, and open a terminal back up and we do some Java dash version we're looking at Java 9 EA so now I have Java 9 installed and you can do so from SDK man or you can come over here to uh, JDK 9 project and download it here so let's just take a look around real quick uh, the first thing you'll see is Java 9 schedule and features so you can jump into here and get a little bit of a an idea of what the schedule looks like and all of the different features are. Uh, so you can look through these and actually look at uh, the individual features. So here is the HTTP2 client update and you can read like a summary, why it was the motivation behind doing this and goals within adding this feature. So these are really good, inf uh, really good information about that. Also, um, if you wanna find out more about uh, documentation on those features uh, we can jump down to documentation and if we jump into um, migrating to the JDK 9 um, we can see a bunch of information about what we need to do to migrate certain projects over to JDK 9 so that'd be a good place to start if you're actually gonna migrate a project over um, we can also look at what's new and in the what's new section, it's gonna dive into a lot of those features that were listed in the features section before. So obviously being with Jigsaw being the big Java 9 enhancement, here's the modular system, um, that's gonna be huge, but there's a lot of other things to go ahead and look at. So you can come through here and look at um, uh, unified JVM logging for a lot of uh, all of the different components in the JVM, so that's pretty cool, you can read through that. Um, and again, JShell, um, HTTP to Client 2 stuff. So this is a good place to start if you haven't done anything in Java 9 yet. 
Or what you could do is just pay attention to this channel because we're gonna start doing a bunch of Java 9 tutorials here. So please subscribe here. So that's that. Uh, if we go back to the main page, um, there's also the API if you need to get at that. Uh, so here we go is the Java JDK 9 API, which is good to kind of just browse around and look at and see what's going on in there. And then there's just some other things. There's a feedback form. So if you want to see what what different um, uh, bugs are arising or people are kind of testing out different features and commenting on them, that's a good place to look as well. So that's kind of the getting started of Java 9. I'm just going to run through a quick project. So one of the great things about um, IntelliJ is now that in the 2017 version of IntelliJ, we have support for JDK 9. Um, I don't, I, you could be wrong here. I don't think it's full on support, but um, just the few examples that I've started going through have worked okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new project. And in the project SDK, we're going to choose Java 9. If that's not here yet, obviously you can come in and create a new one. So now we're creating a Java 9 project. Oh, we're not creating a Spring project. Let's just create a Java project. So Java 9, we're going to start from scratch. Um, let's just say Java and hello Java 9. And we'll click Finish. Um, yes, let's just override that. Yes. And so we're going to open this up in our IntelliJ IDE here. And we're not going to do much here, but I do want to just show you one quick thing to make sure we're paying attention to. So if we come in here and we want to go into our project structure, uh, here we go, project structure. And so once again, when you come in here to this project structure, you want to make sure that your project SDK is turned on to Java 9 and that the project language level has SDK default, which is uh, going to be Java 9 here as well. Um, if you don't have that, uh, some of the new features, like when you go to try to create like a module-info, uh, they're just not going to be there. So make sure that's on. Click OK. We can come in here now and you'll see uh, we have the module-info.java. So that's all I wanted to show you in this, just kind of where Java 9 is, how to get started with it, a few resources, how to install it, how to, how to go through IntelliJ and create a quick project. And we're just going to leave it at that for today. But I will take some uh, uh, suggestions from you. Have you guys tried using Java 9 yet? And what have you found cool? or what tutorials would you like to see? Um, because what I'm planning on doing here is just creating a whole bunch of, uh, a whole series on just creating uh, like new tutorials on the, the features that are coming out in Java 9. As I said before, the, the showstopper is going to be Jigsaw, the modular uh, of Java, but there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff coming out and I want to start to highlight those. So I hope you'll stick around. Please subscribe to this channel and leave me some comments below and I will see you in the next one.